A new Gallup poll finds Americans are drifting away from traditionally held beliefs about God, angels, heaven, hell, the devil. Fewer people, uh, the percentage of those who actually believe in those entities, as they're called, dropping to the lowest level in more than two decades. It decreased three to five points since 2016. Niall Stanage, a White House columnist for The Hill with me right now. Niall, 90% of people believed in God in 2001. Only 74% of people say they believe in God today. Those were responding to the poll. That's a huge drop. And a lot of young people, I think, are contributing to this. Absolutely. It's a very dramatic drop. I mean, you think about 16 points of the American population. That amounts to tens of millions of Americans. It's consistent with some other data we see, like over the same period, the percentage of Americans who be belong to some kind of religious congregation has fallen from about 70% to about 50%. Uh, you mentioned about young people. They are clearly driving part of this change, and it's a very significant change. You might, though, remember, Adrian, a couple of months ago, we spoke about another poll that indicated that young people actually are showing an increased willingness to believe in a higher yes. power, even as the belief in God is diminishing. So that is really interesting and gets to your point about traditional conceptions of religion versus spirituality in a more expansive sense. Do we know at all? I, this is the one thing I will say about a religious polling. Do we know at all how many people are contributing to these poll numbers who are traditional faith goers, you know, church goers, because it seems to me that a lot of people who are in faith circles are the silent majority. They do not like to participate in polls. They do not want the government to know about their information. So sometimes I like to take these polls with a grain of salt. I think that's a really great point. I mean, I think that, you know, there's a general skepticism of polling for, for reliable reasons. But I also would point out that there are some actual uh, religious groups. Uh, I don't mean like denominational groups, but uh, statisticians who are affiliated with religious institutions who do some of these polls, not this one we're directly talking about now, but they do broadly find findings that are in line or consistent with these kind of outcomes. Yeah, I would hope that Gallup, and, and I would want to ask Gallup, is the percentage of people who you are polling, you know, how many Catholics are in that group? How many Protestants are in that group? So that it's a clear indication or a clear a representation of U.S. population. Do you think more people believe in UFOs than angels right now? I have been able to research this question for oh. you, Adrian, and I have a definitive answer. More people do believe in <laughs> angels than UFOs. 69%, if you believe Gallup, you may still be reaching for your salt cellar, but 69% believe in angels, 41% believe in UFOs. So a strong victory for the pro-angel community. <laughs> for the pro-angel contingent. Uh, you know, current events, we've had some pretty wild uh, events that we would never have believed we would have experienced over the past few years. Has that contributed uh, to people's fail to, failure to believe? This is a really fascinating question. Has it had a direct effect? There's very limited evidence of that, but could it be having indirect effects? That's more complicated. So, for example, right after 9-11, there was a short-lived spike in church attendance and it went back to normal. During the financial crisis, there was no real difference in church attendance at all. But when I was researching this, I was reading about people in the church or faith-based community who were worried at the time of the financial crisis that churches themselves would have to close or pare back their activities or that, you know, people would lose jobs and move away. So did people, you know, read their newspaper, see the Dow Jones had fallen and decide they didn't believe in God? No, nobody did that. But do those factors loosen the bonds of faith and community and church? That's a more interesting question. And, and also, and we've seen the stats on this, a lot of people didn't return to in-person church following the closure of several uh, uh, communities, churches, because of the pandemic. Real quickly, we're almost out of time, Niall. In terms of the shifts in religious views in some key states, could that have an impact on the 2024 presidential election? It could, and I'll summarize that very quickly. There's some suggestion that in the Midwest states, there is an, a rise in secularism or lack of religion, which tends to help Democrats. In Texas and in Florida, there's some evidence of an increase in religion in some crucial areas of those states, which typically helps Republicans.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.